All right, what's going on guys? Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you for all the support on the last video, The Day in the Life. I think in one week, we're almost at 4,000 views. It's actually insane because that's only my second video on the channel. So again, thank you for all the support. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. So for this video, I want to get into kind of my advice for new computer science students. Um, that's kind of one thing that I've been getting asked a lot. And if you guys don't know, I have a Discord that I linked in the description. So if you guys want to join that, you can ask any questions there and have video suggestions as well. So yeah, that's a good place to reach me and kind of ask any questions or, or ask some of the people in the community kind of uh, their feedback on things. So my first tip or my first piece of advice would be that realize that everybody is just as lost as you are. So when you first go into CS and you get into your first class, you're gonna feel like you're way behind everybody else. Cause you're gonna go in there with no experience. You never probably even coded before or even know how to work an IDE or anything like that. And most people are in the same boat. So you're gonna have those people who were coding in high school and have projects before, but that's kind of the rare case. Most people, this is kind of their first experience in the software and into coding and everybody is just as lost as you are. So don't worry if you don't know what the teacher's saying on the first day or you have no idea what any of these big terms mean. Um, nobody really knows what's going on. So again, so just focus on the lesson, focus on learning everything in the beginning and you'll be fine. So that kind of goes into my next tip here is learn the basics early. So you're gonna go in there with no knowledge and your first few classes are gonna be your intro classes, learning how to code, learning proper syntax, learning how you know, variables work or functions work. And that's gonna be, you're gonna build on that knowledge for the rest of your career. So you really wanna pay attention and listen to the teacher and kind of apply the things that the teacher is saying because you are gonna be using them for the rest of your college career and your rest of your professional career as well. So these foundations are what build all programming languages and no matter what you're working on or which language you're using, a lot of these principles are all gonna be the same. So really focus on getting a good understanding of the CS topic, of the fundamentals of CS and how everything works and you'll be good to go. My next piece of advice, and is one that I should have done myself, but is it's don't procrastinate. This is something that I dealt with all through college and was really had a negative impact on my college career but um, it may, I made things a lot more difficult than they should be, so I don't really want you to make this mistake as well. A lot of these coding assessments take a very long time to do. Like you may be working on some of these for days or even weeks at a time. So don't wait till the last day or even the last week to get started on it because there are gonna be a lot of different things that come up, a lot of different bugs that you don't even know how to fix, and you're really not gonna have enough time to debug everything or get all the concepts working. So your result is pretty much gonna be a lot of sloppy code, a lot of unfinished code, half credit, all that stuff like that, but and that's not something that you really want to show to your professor. Also, if you don't procrastinate, you have enough time to go talk to the professor in office hours or go to the TA, which is a student that uh, previously took this class already and scored a high grade. So they have a good idea of how long the assessment might take or how long you should spend on design and stuff like that. So they are really good, a really good resource but you don't have access to that if you wait to the last day. Nobody's gonna be online at 11.59, you know, the day before. So really take your time, start when you're given the assignment and use all the resources available to you. So my next piece of advice is look for and attend hackathons. I know these can be kind of scary, kind of feel like you're underqualified and that's usually how I felt every one that I went to. I went to a few um, outside my university and then my university actually sponsored uh, two of them that I went to. So what hackathons are, are a company will sponsor a pretty much like a two day event where a lot of students will come together and are given one task and one problem to solve. And you have 24 hours to solve it. So basically you don't sleep for 24 hours straight. You sit there, you solve a problem or you solve a task and you submit your code and then you judge based on you know what you create, how optimal your solution is and kind of how efficient all of your code is. When I went, I didn't really go to win. It was really a way for me to start networking with future engineers and a lot of people who are actually working in the industry now because the company will send some of their engineers who are working there now to sponsor or host the event. So you can really get your name out there and network with them and kind of learn about what they do and how they and how they got to where they are and it's just a really good opportunity to learn. Also at the hackathons, they're going to have these workshops that you can attend. 
Um, those workshops are actually really, really useful. So one of them that I went to, I think Home Depot sponsored it. It was a uh, intro to React Native workshop. So during that workshop, I learned all about React Native and React and kind of got me really interested in front end development. And it's pretty much the reason why I started looking into it and kind of how I got to where I am now. So again, extremely useful. Definitely look into hackathons and try to attend as many as you can. Also tying into that, um, my next piece of advice is make friends within your major. This is going to be extremely helpful to you, not only to you know get a group together and go to a hackathon, but for your assignments as well. So in the industry, you have coworkers and you have a manager to reach out to who can help you get unstuck on all the problems or explain something that you don't understand to you. So there's something that you really want to simulate in your college career. So I, I suggest forming study groups, uh, making a group chat, and kind of getting together to go over the topics. Make sure everybody has the same understanding of the concept. This will allow you guys to kind of talk over your solution, bounce new ideas off each other, and really kind of get yourself, get yourself unstuck. I'm not saying that you should cheat, especially in CS. The, the professors have a really good way of telling if your code is very similar to your friend's code. So I really suggest not doing that because all they have to do that through that is run it through a checker. It automates the process of check cheating, so definitely do not do that. You will get in a lot of trouble and sometimes even expelled. My last piece of advice would be to apply to internships early. So even if you don't apply, just look at internships that you might be interested in. I mean, you might not have the experience now or qualify for them now, but look at what their qualifications are, what the preferred metrics are for their internship. A lot of times you'll have a really good idea of what you need to work on to kind of get to that position. A lot of times your classes might not cover all the topics needed for an internship. So that would be on you to go out there and kind of work on a side project or take a side, take an online class or take a watch some YouTube videos on a certain topic, which will get you some knowledge and be able to put that on your resume, which will show the employer that, you know, you went outside of your class to learn something. So what I did is I went through all the top internships that I wanted and kind of figured out a similar ground of their requirements and i'm gonna work on that let's say one said you need to learn about html and css for a front-end position well i didn't really have any classes they were teaching that so i would watch a bunch of youtube videos do some side projects make sure that i can have enough confidence to put it on my resume so that we see that i know that concept or know that language and be able to you know have a better application for the internship so if i was going to summarize everything it would be to realize nobody really knows what they're doing going in. Make sure you have a good friend group, a good study group that will help you not only in college, but you know, but after college as well. And look for opportunities outside of school, whether it be hackathons, whether it be different clubs, different events, but anything you can do to get other experience outside of your classes would be a big benefit. So I just, yeah, I just want to make this really quick video. Appreciate everybody who watched this. If you have any more questions, you can DM me on Instagram, on Twitter, or on the Discord. Yeah, I'll be answering all of those. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.